The student loan debt crisis reaching an all-time high, $1.6 trillion and rising. And we discovered hundreds of area college students are paying off their loans in an unconventional way through relationships. 41 Action News consumer investigator Kat Reed looks at the world of sugar dating and the potential dangers. The cost of college can bring major sticker shock. This one was almost $200. Skylar Jones is a full-time student. She was paying for school by working multiple jobs. It just wasn't practical, you know, working 50 hours a week and going to school 40 and you know, still not getting all my homework done. A roommate showed her another option, a website called Seeking Arrangement. Seeking Arrangement is the world's largest sugar dating site. It's a place where sugar babies can find their sugar daddies. Seeking Arrangement recently released a list of colleges with the most students signed up. The University of Missouri came in 28th with 933 students on the site. And for two year schools, Johnson County Community College was 22nd with 189 students. The types of people they can form relationships with can offer them uh, benefits like paying for tuition and kind of elevate that college lifestyle for them that they wouldn't otherwise get to experience with the guy who delivers pizza or lives in his mom's house. The average sugar allowance $2,900 a month. Something will come up, you know, I need new tires on my car or hey, like I need this. I need a textbook for school. We decided to dive a bit deeper, so the 41 Action News investigators made a profile. I used my real name and picture to see what kinds of arrangements people are seeking. Some of the men were married, others single. One man reached out for a, quote, good friendship where we have fun and enjoy each other's company. Another said intimacy was a must, adding he was willing to trade $500 monthly for allowing him to feel younger. In some ways, people may see this as prostitution. If you're two consenting adults in a relationship, sex happens. It's not transactional in any way. Um, people on our site aren't coming for that. And if they are, um, they're going to be banned. We find them and we uh, we kick them off the site for good. Haley McNamara from the National Center on Sexual Exploitation says she's heard horror stories of sugar dating gone wrong. In the headlines, reports of scams, sexual assaults, and more. Well, what we're seeing here with sugar dating is really a capitalization and sexual exploitation of socioeconomic vulnerability. Jones says she has never been paid for physical intimacy. It's very important to me that I never feel like a transaction. For her, seeking arrangement is a place where everyone can find exactly what they're looking for without being judged for it. That was one of the really appealing parts of seeking arrangement is just being able to be completely open and honest. I mean, like, this is what I want, this is what I'm searching for, and being able to talk to another person in the same way. And a few notes about safety, you guys. Seeking arrangement will run background checks through a third party, but only if members request and pay for them. The young woman we talked to says she always meets men in a public place and tells a friend where she's going, but she acknowledged anytime you're meeting a stranger you met online in person, there are going to be risks involved. Cat Reed, 41 Action News. Now.